I spent, you know, five hours on a plane before, but you guys must have spent 30 plus some days on a plane. How? 40. 40, 40 days, days on a plane. Um, what is that like and how, how does it not become claustrophobic? Filming in that It didn't become it claustrophobic bad, because yeah. it, was, it was a set. Um, they built it from body to stern, a whole airplane. Um, our personal dressing rooms were just seconds away. Which is so it was very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. We were able to get up and move about. It yeah. was very hard for the crew. Yeah. I was about to say, does it um, does it become tiresome, or is there more camaraderie when you're stuck in a plane type set with like 30, 40 people? I thought there was a lot of camaraderie. I mean, yeah. we really enjoyed each other's company, and yeah. and we're all sitting. You know, so you'd be like, "Hey, what'd you do this weekend? Or did you go out to dinner last night?" Or yeah. you know, people asked, you know, what was going on in his lives. So you got to know the extras. You knew, Great bunch you know, of actors yeah, and extras too. Yeah, we got to know them all. I was happy because it's kind of a New York movie, so that might add very to the in power. New York yeah. movie. Yeah, it's second exit off the LIE. That's <laughs> really close. I, I kept thinking, I'm a big fan of Murder She Wrote, and um, hey, nonstop that's is retro. I like <laughs> yeah, well, that. that's me. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm wondering if you are you have an affection for mystery stories. If there's something movies, TV, plays, perhaps that you love, mystery yeah, wise, I do like them. I, I was glued mm. to, which is a great series, by the way, the British uh, Sherlock Holmes with Benedict Cumberbatch, is that, uh, I guess Martin that's Freeman, it. superb. And they are the old uh, um, Joseph Conrad's, not Joseph Conrad, Conan Doyle stories, yeah. but updated, you know. Why do they get Brilliant. it so right, do you think? Very, very good writing, very good acting. Mm. Is it easy to play suspicious? What I love about Nonstop is that everyone is suspicious, no matter who you are. Even you, sure. the yeah. hero, are kind of sure. suspicious. What goes into well, being that? No, having read the script too, you know what's going to happen. It's just perspective. It's point of view. You know, everyone is suspicious depending on on how you view them, um, and that's what's interesting about it too. Is it sort of turns t you, you, turns on its head this idea that you can, that you know who someone is or you understand mm -hmm. them just by by looking at them because of course you don't. What, what do you think of the political implications of this? I mean, it, it, it's kind of a movie about how we feel didn't, when we get on a plane. Didn't think about political motivations and the thing like that at all. Yeah. You know, the backdrop to the story is security at airports that we all know about, we've all experienced. And, uh, you know, we set out to make a really good thriller, thriller a, a kind of a whodunit, and to keep audiences guessing, because audiences now, especially young audiences are so clued in, mm -hmm. you know?